local high point, okay, or a local low point. And so we're gonna find out the coordinates of those points, okay, using our graphing calculators. It works the same for either the TI-83 or the TI-84, but let's uh, work with the TI-84 here. That's a newer uh, model here, calculator. So what I've done is, I've already inputted an equation into y equals, okay, right here in the upper left-hand corner, y equals, and you can see I've got x cubed minus 4x squared plus 4. So I'm going to go over here to graph. Okay, so there's the graph of the equation. And what I'm going to do now is I want to find that, that high point right there, okay, so that, that local maximum. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to second, second, calculate. Okay, and what we want is the maximum number four. So I'm going to go to the lower right-hand corner here, press enter. Now you see how it says left bound? Okay, what we want to do is we want to arrow just a little bit, and you can see I'm using the left and right arrow keys. I want to arrow just a little bit to the left, okay, of that high point. Okay, so it says left bound, I'm going to press enter, and then I'm going to arrow to the right of that high point. You want to make sure you go past the high point, otherwise it's not going to give you an accurate value. And right bound, I'm going to press enter, Okay, and then it says, you can see guess, I'm gonna hit enter one more time, and it finds that that high point, okay, in between uh, those two points that we selected. Now you can see over here, see this e to the negative seven? That really means uh, scientific notation, that's 8.2 times 10 to the negative seventh, which is a really small value, essentially zero. So you can see when x is zero, the y value is four. Okay, so if you see that, you know, you can see that's very close to zero. Let's find the local minimum here now. We're gonna do the same process. We're gonna to go to second, calculate, and we want the minimum this time, number three. So I'm gonna hit enter in the lower right-hand corner of your calculator. And I'm gonna, you can see it says left bound. So I'm gonna arrow just a little bit to the left of that, that low point right there. Okay, and I'm gonna press enter. It says right bound. I'm gonna arrow just a little bit to the right of that low point. Make sure I just go a little bit past. Enter one more time and it says guess, you can see. I'm gonna press enter one more time. And you can see it's at 2.67 approximately. And the Y value is like about negative 5.5 if you round. So that's how you find the local maximums and local minimums using your graphing calculator. I'll see you in the next video.